good afternoon. Um, today on the agenda is going to be getting this yard a little bit together. So um, yesterday we went to um, Home Depot and we went to a couple other places and um, I'll show you guys what we got so that we can get this job done today. I'm in the garage, by the way. And I'm going to sweat a little bit of what we got. So what we bought was, um, cause I wanted to do a little bit of planting. So we had some flowers. I got, I wanted to get some perennials, but we looked all over the place y'all. And I just couldn't find perennials to my liking. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of how nice the ones we had looked when we first put them in. Um, but anyway, so I went with annuals. So it looks like I'll be out here again next year trying to put some more in there. But for now, these are look cute. These look cute. This is what we got. So I got some little white ones. I thought those purple ones were really pretty. And then I just got like some little multicolored ones. And then James is going to, he's actually out there now working on pulling up the tarp um, that we are um, going to replace. And then see so yeah. You see how we looking, y'all, over here? Yeah, my little flowers and died and gone. Gone to flower heaven. So we got to put some more out here. And all those little weeds and things. Tighten up these little bushes a little bit. So anyway, he's replacing the tarp. So that's why we bought new tarp. And um, that's about it. And then with those, those little pins that we'll need. And that's what we're going to be working with so um yeah so we're going to go ahead and get to work y'all because baby girl is down we're going to try to see how much we can get done while she is asleep so enjoy us working all right i'm gonna set y'all down over here so y'all can kind of see what we're doing a little bit i think we're gonna get to work So phase one was to just pull up the tarp um, and to clean out all the old flowers and the ones that were, you know, dead. We kind of kept a couple of the ones that my perennials that look like they want to come back, but I'm not sure about those. But we'll see when I when I start um, replanting. But anyway. So that's, and James is just kind of trimming up the, the, um, shrubs. the shrubs and everything else has been cleaned. The bed, the entire bed has been cleaned out. So we, um, needed to clean out the mulch, the old mulch and to take up the tarp. So phase one is complete. Yeah. So, y'all, it's a lot of work, but 
I enjoy, um, you know, seeing how my um, the flower bed turns out and just keeping it looks nice. You know, when you walk, I mean, not when we walk by, when you drive by, um, even as homeowners to just look out here, it just looks nice when it's put together. So it was, I had perennials and annuals out here. Um, I knew the annuals would not come back, but I put the perennials out two years ago. Um, and shout out to my mom because she was here two years ago and she actually helped me to get this flower bed together the first time. So, um, so yeah, so I had perennials out here. So like I was saying earlier, I did want to get perennials again because I like the fact that they come back and I don't have to plant as often. Um, but like I said, we went to so many stores. We even went to this little local plant shop here. Um, and they had some really nice things, but they just, the perennials just were not. Eh. So anyway, I just ended up with a bunch of annuals, which were nice. Um, like I showed y'all. But I know I'm going to be out here again next year then. <laughs> so it's cool. Maybe next year things will change. So anyway, um, so on to the next phase. So, somebody is up from their nap. Say hello, mama. Say hi, mama. <laughs> so, um, we are getting ready. Actually, we are finished. I think I showed y'all last the um, how the bed, the flower bed is finally all the way cleaned out. And now the tarp is going in. So, yeah, we had to get all the um, old mulch up and everything. So, that's all cleared away. James trimmed the bushes successfully and now he is laying the tarp. So this will keep the uh, weeds from growing up out of the ground. So I think he had, well, he had sprayed a little bit of um, weed killer down first and now he is laying the tarp so that weeds won't, it'll, it'll stop the weeds from growing up as I am. Um, after I plant the flowers. So, tarp is going down. Phase two, beginning. Perfect. out here she has come to join us as we continue working but now we have to work with mama with little mama running <laughs> where are you going say hey to the camera <laughs> say hey mama come here pink pants <laughs> come here pink pants y'all she loves playing in the grass too so where are you going? All right, guys, we are done. As you can see, we got our little blank canvas for Lanico to work on tomorrow or whenever she gets to it. And as you see, it's some rocks, a water spout uh, director down there, just some stuff to hold the weed fabric tarp stuff in place. But we have, um, these are fabric and garden staples. I have 25 of them. Got about six left. So as we put our plants in and start putting mulch and different stuff down, 
then we're going to anchor these things in correctly all the way down because if you notice there's one there there's one there but it's not all the way in it's just enough to hold it but I just want to make sure that when we fully staple this thing down that we got things where we want it and it's nice and tight as we can get it and then voila and then after that cut the grass give it a good water and we should be in business